Hey y'all, here to make a quick movie, detailed movie on the limelight gloom. This is it right here. I want you to disappear in my hand. It's small. This little mech made my limelight mods. We're going to look at it in a bunch more detail here in a minute. So I'll take a couple quick pulls off it and um, tell you a little bit more about it. Alright, so we know that nobody came here <clears throat> for the express purpose of looking at my ugly fucking face. This is what y'all wanted to see, isn't it? The limelight gloom as I received it. Okay, with this um, blacked out bottle and cap. I'll take all that apart and show it to you. First and foremost, before I even go like any further, well, let me, let me also preface this with something else. Let me start because I usually get questions on how do I get this mod. How I got this mod was this was a rare first. Somebody actually offered to send me something, no charge, to keep for a review. And I noticed this is cool. has my initials on it right there. Okay? So that's how I got it. Um, it's a Facebook group called Limelight Mechanics. As far as I know, it's secret and closed. I can't really get you in. I can't get you the mod. Um, I'm just showing you like I do on all my videos. If you notice, most of the stuff that I get... Isn't stuff that you can buy off some website somewhere that's like, you know, mass produced by the hundred thousands. It's usually pretty um exclusive or, or cool stuff. Most squonk gear is, most um most of the good stuff is. This is no exception. This mod is made in Serbia by Limelight Mechanics, okay? Guy named Dejan Alexan Alexandrovic. Okay, or Dejan Alexandrovic. So let me show you one thing that not many mod makers. This is the package that it came in. Read that statement. I'm not going to waste a bunch of time reading it, but this fucking thing right here, lifetime warranty. So one of the things that people, I'm new to this group. This is the first time I've had a Limelight product. One of the things you'll hear in the group and by anybody that owns these mods is the customer service is top notch. Even though this mod is made in Serbia, you don't deal with shipping back and forth to Serbia. There's, there's admins in each group who all seem cool as fuck that there's like a USA admin, uh, whatever. Uh, Europe admin, blah, 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 blah. And you send to them, and they handle the shipping back and forth. So you're always shipping local. And then the mod comes back to you direct from day, John. Should you ever, like, elect to upgrade anything on it, or if there should be a problem with it, and it's backed by that lifetime warranty. So that right there is pretty goddamn cool. That man is standing up to his stuff. So let's get into what came with the mod. So here's the mod. We're going to go through it in detail. Came with a couple of goodies. Came with a little beauty ring, and it came with a killer little um, trip tip that looks to be made of the same polymer as a mod, okay? Also came in this little bag and it came packaged extremely well in this box. This is also a first that I've seen. These little things right here were on, for instance, this was on here, okay? This was on the catch cup. So this is a guy that's got his shit together and not only makes a hell of a product, but knows, um, I don't know, I don't know the best way to put it, but presents it to you in such a way that it's not overly done and gaudy in some like crazy box that looks like it costs more than the mod, but it comes to you like it's a guy that knows what the hell he's doing and cares a lot about your perception of the mod. This is not a mod that needs my help with the video. It doesn't need anybody's help. Limelight's been making mods for a while. They have a huge following. The group has got a lot of people in it. And this mod wasn't sent to me with like a... A prayer of, hey man, can you help me sell some mods or get me some exposure? It was more like, hey, I haven't never sent one to a USA guy to put in front of the camera. And some people said, hey, I think old fucking Russ or whatever would be pretty good at it. So uh, that's why I got this mod right here and I'm, I was down for Because I wasn't I'm on the market for a new mod. But you can't help but to not like this motherfucker, okay? You just cannot help not to have some appeal to this beauty. Now, this is the first mod I've ever owned in my life that is like a free form, okay? So let's go over some of the dimensions of the mod. I measured it with a ruler, a millimeter ruler, okay? So um, those are my, my measurements. So let's just say the widest dimension on this mod that I could measure with my ruler across the top are about 50 millimeters. You could see it tapers down. So that was 50 millimeters across the widest point. Tapers down... And then we got like um, 46 millimeters across the bottom, okay? The mod is 78 inches from the highest point. 78, 78 millimeters, 78 inches. That'd be a big goddamn mod. That'd be taller than me. I'd have to stand on a step stool. Okay, it's 78 millimeters or thereabouts of height. Okay, now the depth of the mod on the top, it's about 28 inches. Oh, God damn, 
28 millimeters across. But again, it, as you can see, it tapers down, it gets a little narrower, and then it widens a little bit at the bottom back to about 46 millimeters. Okay, so 50 millimeters, 46 millimeters, 78 millimeters, 50 millimeters, and um, 46 millimeters. And then there's something in the middle. So that's that. I don't have any fancy calipers or any of that stuff. So when you get the mod, you get some choices with it, okay? This is a black military polymer body. Um, you get a choice in what this logo, how it's done. You can either get it in white, black, or red, okay? Here, you can get your choice of a 22 millimeter, like I got, cup, or 24 millimeter flush. The stainless has three different options. You can get it in um, a brushed finished, a polished, or a frosted. I took a brushed finished, okay? And this is the latest 510. It's a spring operated 510. And this is the MOSFET version. That's another option. You have full mech or MOSFET. This is a MOSFET version. So let's look at this. some of the details on this mod here. Let's just try and um, tighten up on some of the beautiful work about it and how well it's put together. This is not some beginner making mods. This is a guy that seems to know his way around this polymer around stainless steel. From what I understand, all parts are made in-house with the exception of these bottles. This is a super, I'll take that out in a minute and I'll show it to you. That's a super soft, but this is contoured well. When you, when I think of this mod, I think of like a, a pistol grip. That's what it reminds me of, a pistol grip, okay? It's exactly what it feels like in your hand, minus the trigger, but that's it. Or a foregrip, okay? But here's, let's look at some of the details. We've got a silver plated brass here, we got this little bottle um, holder that's made of pretty much the same material as the uh, mod itself, the polymer. It goes in, and the bottle doesn't really need that. It's just there. And you can just grab this bottle. It just pops right out, okay? So let's look up inside this bad boy, and let's look up in here. We're going to remove this. Now, this is a very smooth threading. You're threading silver-plated brass, vented, and adorned with a little logo of sorts something so we look up inside again we see more silver plated brass threading here we see silver plated brass up in there were i ever to want to clean that i would probably clean it with like a long q-tip and some alcohol i wouldn't get any abrasive on it um the same with this i would clean that little contact the same way now we look at where the bottle goes in this is one reason i could tell that me and this mod are going to get along fine because when you're putting the bottle on I, I roll with the glucose silk in mine, okay? You can actually see the little feed tube in there. Now, I've got to do a better job of trimming my bottle. You know, I'm, I get excited about shit. When I got this, I just kind of held my bottle next to this bottle, and I trimmed my tube to somewhat about the same length. I need to get that notch off of it, okay? And I think my tube also has a wider diameter right here, which might not be the best thing. This is a super soft bottle. You know, one of these super softs, and Dehan makes this killer accessory cap, so when it's on there, you don't see that silver. To me, I don't mind this aesthetic at all. I actually kind of like it, and I like the glucose bottle. I'm just so used to the glucose bottles, but you can look up in there and, and marry that thing up and set this up on there and go to town. So let's measure the dry weight of the mod. Now that I've taken the caps off, rather than put them back on before I'm ready to go, put the battery back in, we'll just put on this little scale, and we'll see what the dry weight you know, um, grams is of it. Okay, we'll put the parts on too. All the parts that come with it. So you're right about 84.5 grams. That means in ounces, just about three ounces, 2.98 ounces dry weight. Pretty killer, it's a lightweight mod, but it's not so light that you don't know that you have this bad boy in your hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and reassemble it for you real quick. Battery goes in positive up, and then you got this I mean, simple as fuck. Nice, smooth threads. Again, I'll pop my little silk up in here. That's pretty much it with that. This thing has a little little catch on it, a detent. So it, it stays in there. Um, if you can keep your eyes on it. I'm a clumsy motherfucker, so... You know by now that I'm going to struggle with everything on camera. So that's that. You give this bottle, and this is a... This is, I've had a couple mods that had this style early in my career, and um, I've just, I had gotten away from them for a while, and I haven't had any in a while, so there's, there's a, a very simple squonk on that. Atomizer's 
connection is spring loaded. I want to take away from the beauty of all. I just I mean this just looks awesome. Spring loaded and with this which means you don't really need any beauty ring because the gap is going to conceal itself. That 24 millimeter option is pretty cool to have out there too. Um, for people that want the option of running a beauty ring or a 24 millimeter atomizer. And that's it. It took me about three minutes to get this mod out of the box, up and running, and um, good to go. I got it running nice and dry right now. Could definitely use a little, little hit. And um, I'm gonna take a pull off it if y'all don't mind. So it's a hell of a freaking mod. I'm very happy as hell to have it. Haven't found anything I would knock on it at all. I'm going to shoot you a segment where I took this off just to see how easy it is. It'll come in here right at the end. I'll put in a segment of not me actually taking it off, but after I got off. I don't want to bore y'all with me because the, the screws are nice and long. they got a bunch of threads. It's a very finely threaded machine screw. There's two of them, as you saw. Take it off, lift this up, flip this sideways in case you're clumsy as fuck like me who got a little juice down in here yesterday when I was priming my wick. So simple to maintain, like any mod. Hey, if you're not careful with juice, whether it's a front switch, a mech regulated, you can get juice down at your doors, down at your front button. So this one is no different than any other. If you're not careful when you get juice, I wouldn't waste my, um, lose a bunch of time not cleaning it out. I'd want to clean it out quick. Just like if you got it down the switch of your front fire mechanical or reg, you'd want to try and get that juice out as best you can. Same with this. Do I have anything I want to knock about this? I'll tell you, I think I told you everything I like. I love the way it feels. I love the feeling of it hand the heft. I love the squonk. It's um, something you got to get used to. Haven't used thumb fire in a while. Um, I'm kind of really happy to get back into it because that's how I started um, running it. But everything I've had has been trigger finger for a while now. But this is so natural. All the, about the first three years, all my mods were this way. Squonk is cool. The one that you got to remember, because now I'm used to using boxes. Most of my mods are boxes of sorts, and the bottle is protected. And you don't really get to it unless you stick your thumb in it. So you got to kind of keep your eye on if you're holding the mod and you're, you just don't accidentally squeeze it too much. You know, does that make sense? That's um, that's it. Do I have any? I got no knocks. I can't think of anything I don't like about the mod. It's so well put together. Feels so nice. Works so good. Vapes exactly as you expect. I mean, expect the MOSFET is a, it's a very positive firing action. I mean, I can't find anything to knock unless you don't like kick-ass products. I'm sorry. Oh, the only thing I wish I did is pick this in black. Not that I care that it's in white, but I thought, yeah, I probably should have picked it in black because white really doesn't go with anything I have. I do have a white Teflon tip, and I'm not all that freaky about matching shit up, but black. That's my only knock. It's not on the mod. It's on my dumb ass that I could have picked black on that. But I don't really care. I'm glad either way. But um, things I like, again, the feeling, the, the weight, the switch, the way it looks, the way you got a built-in gap um, um, shield on there. I don't screw any of my stuff down like really solidly tight. I like how easy the bottle is to deal with and get out. Battery too. It's not It's not as simple as taking a door off, but I mean that is not hard to get that on. Now, this is easily a daily driver mod. It's not one you're going to use and hand check and put on your shelf and every now and then take it out. This mod can easily be a daily driver. It fits down in my holsters. I want to say that fit the same holsters that fit my other boxes. It doesn't fit all the way in. But it fits in enough where I can carry it. It goes in about like that. So I don't ride around my holsters like hanging off my side. I got them covered up under my shirt. But I like keep them odd in the holster so it's upright. The switch is recessed down in there. I don't, I don't know any way that this thing's going to fire inadvertently. I just I don't think it needs any locking system. Because as you can see, looking at it, it's down in there. It's not like sticking up out of the top, okay? But hell, the attention to detail on this is off the chain, and I, I like this look. I could conceal that. I could do a lot of different stuff, but I kind of like. I got stainless, picking up stainless. If I have a stainless top, killer job, killer execution. Real stoked to have this mod and to be the recipient of it, and it's going to get a hell of a lot of use. That's it. See you. So just in case anybody's interested, what's going on underneath the uh, MOSFET version here. Look at these nice long finely threaded machine screws that hold down the cup. I just loosened up this second one right here. And um, you just lift the cup up. And the little switch here. The switch right here. Lifts up, swings out of the way, and there you can see the MOSFET operation going on there. Something that you might want to do from time to time, just check it. Um, if you ever get any juice up under there or anything of that nature, um, you can see how easy this is to access and, 
and all that good stuff. So that is that deal right there. Okay, let me put it back together and we'll move on.